are you tired of having of not of wanting to turn over this? Well, I'm going to show you how. First, um, OpenPaint.net. Um, and open it 1600 pixels for 1600 pixels. So, 1600 by 1600. Okay. And then go on this page that I'll post in the description. I'll copy, copy it and then paste it. And then just fill this corner to the end of another corner. Okay, so now we've got uh, this. Here's the right arrow that moves selection and put it on the first box. Okay, done. Then I'll use the paint bucket. Use the paint bucket and like paint it black. Do the same for all the other boxes. Okay, then turn it black. P press new layer. Use the new selection again. And uh, select the sides. Uh, <coughs> show this in a different color. I want to use light blue. Okay, then I use this too and do the same with the other side. Okay, you see the background of this? All you press is delete. Okay, good. On layer 2, press new layer. Then paste. Wait, sorry. Then, I like this picture, so I'm going to use this as the background. So I'm just going to paste it on. Press keep canvas size. And pull this to the side, to the insides, just outside the side. Then press move layer down so this goes on top of it, like that. Looks pretty good. Okay, press the move selection tool, and go on the boxes again. Oh. Then pick a dark green color and a light green color. I'm gonna use this one and oh man, this one. You can right click to do a fast one. Make it a bit dark. Okay, then use effects, render, clouds. Wait, sorry, never mind. Use gradient tool. So you get something like that, which is quite good. And do do the same for all the other boxes. Oh, it's gradient tool. Then you'll get something like that. Okay, now for the sides. Just to make it a bit, a bit cooler, I'm just gonna put this. Cover, use the layer and cover, uh, select the sidebar. Go to effects, under clouds. So you get something like that. I'm trying to make a soft look. Oh wait, these two don't don't go well together. So I'm gonna use a different white. Right. 
something like, like that. Effects and uh, clouds and make it a bit soft. Make the roughness. Okay. Okay, and then you should like the other side and do the same thing. Thanks, and uh, clouds. Okay. Now, just for that look, I'm gonna press a new layer and move this layer down. And I'm gonna make a rectangle. Okay, uh, and fill it up with what color goes is good. This light bluish. Well, it doesn't show here, it shows behind here. So then, you do the same for the other side. The reason you did that is. Wait a second. Okay, so you got two layers behind it, but it's quite hard to see. So after you do the uh, the clouds, go to blurs and do Gaussian blur. <laughs> Make it like a hundred percent, so the thing comes out of the back. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Effects, blur, Gaussian blur. 100. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, no? Okay, so I'm going to um, use this green guitar picture. Looks pretty cool. And first, if you want to paste it on, just make things the layer bigger. Okay, now. Just me. Let me just put it here. Looks looks pretty cool. Let me use the magic wand. Delete. Okay, so you should get something like that. Just for a finishing touch, I'm gonna add some text. Let me make it black. Get to about 48. And I'm gonna make it this awesome text. Both of a hero. <sighs> Let me go and turn around, go to layers, rotate, zoom. Let me just change it to 90. So I get it on the sidebar. You can do the same with your. With your. Looks pretty good now, doesn't it? So now you do file, save, and then save it as a GPEG file, and save it, yeah, okay, and just get it uh, under 256 kilobytes, 257, 245, okay, I can only get it to 91. Okay, then flatten. You can do the same thing. I, I did it with better, with fire. So I hope this helped.